Hey guys, so before we get into today's video, I would just like you guys to keep me and Steve in your uh, thoughts. Uh, our bird, Parakeet Cloud, passed away um, about a week and a half ago. Um, it was a complete and total accident. He wasn't sick or anything. It's just he got, he was sharpening his beak on his wooden perch and not his cuddle bone. And he had slipped and what we're thinking was stabbing, he stabbed himself essentially. And he did die of blood loss about a week and a half ago. And right now we are still waiting to get his ashes back. So if you guys could just keep us in your thoughts, that'd be great. Anyway, on to the video. Peekaboo. Oh, I look like shit. But it's okay, because we gonna fix it. Hey guys, welcome back. I know I've been not on YouTube recently, and uh, we gonna talk about it. But first... I want to say thank you so, so much for getting Lightning 2 to already 100 and I think like 8 reads so far. And it hasn't been out for very long and there's only 3 chapters up. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for supporting Lightning 2. And if you want your own copy of Lightning, actual book, me, cover, see, I know, she's pretty, I'm ugly. <laughs> if you want an actual copy of this, there's a link down below. No money due up front until all 25 orders are complete. We're going to talk about that while I'm dyeing my hair. Let's get started. Okay, hi, we're in the bathroom now. Okay, so I'm just gonna talk to y'all while I do this. Zero get out. So with my hair dye, I normally go with L'Oreal just because I've tried other ones and I don't like them because they don't seem to work very well. Like I tried, um, no shade to them, but Garnier Futris, y'all on some crack ass bullshit because I tried to do their navy blue and putting that shit on my hair felt like paste. So I know majority of you have um, ended quarantine or it's been lifted to where your shit's opening again. And I'm going to be that bitch to remind you to please still wear your mask because my state is actually one of the lowest cases of COVID and our governor got such shit for what she was doing, but uh, she's over here like, you are welcome. Now for the fun part of brushing my hair that has been up for two days straight. Okay, so, ah, not fun. Okay. So y'all know I don't get political on my channel. This is a safe place where everybody can come. That's why I make content involving everything. Hair, makeup, which by the way, I'll be doing a makeup video right after I'm done dyeing my hair because I have a new song coming out very, very, very soon. And I need to do my makeup so I can take promo pictures and cover art for it. Um, yeah, so that's fun. But I never get political on here, but I'm about to today. And here's why. First of all, rest in peace to George Floyd. I can't even imagine what his family's going through. And for all of you who think, because I know a couple of you, not a couple, I know actually quite a fucking few of you. Huh? So for all of you who are saying that this shit is a publicity stunt, y'all can fuck right off. And the reason that this shit, because we're not tolerating racism anymore, because it is 20 motherfucking 20. The world <coughs> uh, <coughs> is ending. Why? We don't have time to be fucking racist. And we've never had the time to be fucking racist. In my opinion, there's never been an okay. It has never been okay to be a motherfucking racist. Because if you're a racist, honestly, boo-boo, you're a garbage human. Because you were obviously not raised correctly, so you don't love other human beings, is what I'm saying. And who oh, potent. And I've said this before. I don't care if you're... Straight, gay, bi, trans, pan, sit, I don't know all the fucking shit. I'm not a good gay person. I like people for their personality and their attitudes. I don't judge people on anything. And like, I joke around and stuff and like, I, I joke around. And you know, a, there's a difference between joking and taking shit way too fucking far. And there was an incident, I had a party at my house, not a huge party. We get together every Friday to play cards and drink and just bullshit and stuff. Oh my god, I'm gonna get high off a of hair dye. But somebody in my house was saying some racist motherfucking shit, and I... Sis, I was not having it. I screamed and screamed for them to get out of my fucking house, because honestly, I live in a darker community, and you are not... <coughs> oh my god. Repeat not going to be yelling words like that in my house. You should not be yelling words like that Period. I don't care who the fuck you are. 
So yeah, I kicked somebody out of my house because I wasn't going to tolerate it. And you know, we're good. We're fine. We made up. It's whatever. We argue quite frequently. So it's like, whatever. No, it wasn't Steve. Um, for those of you wondering, Steve and I are doing really good. I know since Lightning 2 came out, y'all have been a little concerned and messaging me and like, hey, are you okay? And they're like, yeah, I'm fine. Anyway, back to George Floyd's family. The reason that we're doing this now. Because it was fucking videotaped. This man was murdered. On film. Because people, oh my god, people, people fucking piss me off. Here's the thing that pisses me off the most about this situation. Nobody helped him. And I understand that, you know, it's the police and shit. And, you know, jail. Here's the thing. If I were there, and this isn't just me, like, talking out of my ass because of it. I've stood up to police multiple, multiple times on shit I did not think was correct. I've literally taken cops to court over traffic tickets. Like, okay... I, fun story, I got pulled over about, how long have I lived here? Two years ago. The day that I moved into this apartment, I was driving my friend Hannah, hey munchkin, I was driving my friend Hannah back to her house, which was right down the road at the time, and this cop pulled me over, and I'm like, sir, what could you possibly want? And he's like, oh, your brake light is out. I'm like, oh, okay, I'll get that fixed. Mind you, I didn't have my own car at the time, so I was borrowing Steve's dad's car. And I didn't know where any of the fucking documents were. I thought everything was in there and everything was up to date. Apparently not. He said, show me your proof of insurance. Gave him the proof of insurance. It was expired. So he take it to me for that. But here's the thing. When he asked for the registration, I didn't know where anything in that motherfucking car was. Because here's the thing. I'm going to toot my own horn. I don't get pulled over often. And when he did pull me over, he wouldn't let me look for it. He took my license and he took the expired insurance, walked away, and he would not let me look for the fucking registration. Like, okay, dude, you're asking for it. And I get that you're pissed that I don't know where it is. But I even flat out told you, this is not my motherfucking car. I was borrowing it to move. That was a lot, but it's fine. Like, okay, so I argue with this. If I was at that incident with that man, George Floyd, I probably would have charged the cop. Be like, you can fucking shoot me all you want. This man was calling for his mother. And what are people doing now? They are looking into his fucking past be like, oh, he's a criminal. Be like, that doesn't make it okay at all. That does not make it okay that he was a criminal. Okay, he didn't murder anybody. From my understanding, and please correct me in the comments if I am fucking wrong, which everybody thinks I'm fucking wrong. Um, he, the reason that he was dealing with police that day is because he had like a counterfeit 20 or something. Like he had a counterfeit bill. Do you know how many times... At Spirit, people have walked into my store not knowing that they have a counterfeit bill. That's why you have counterfeit checkers. But no, I would have charged that motherfucking cop be like, he is crying. Telling you he can't breathe. And then it was like, I saw a thing that they were like, oh, he had COVID-19. I'm like, what does it matter? The only part that you should be concerned about is this man was murdered on videotape. And none of y'all give a fuck. That's just my opinion on it. There is no larger scheme to it. There is no thing... And the people that are mad about the Black Lives Movement are fucking pissed that, oh, we can't be racist anymore, or, uh-oh, now is the time that they're finally standing up and we can't get away with it anymore? No, fuck you. So yeah, all of y'all that are fucking pissed about this is because you're like, oh, I can't get away with being a fucking racist or beating up black people. But like, first of all, where's your mother? So yeah, all of y'all that are fucking pissed about this is because you're like, oh, I can't get away with being a fucking racist or beating up black people. But like, first of all, where's your mother? Because I want to talk to her. Because y'all should not repeat, not ever treat anybody like that. Like, okay, they talk about bullying and shit. Oh my god, I have so much to fucking talk about. I should just go out live and just go the fuck off. But here I am making a YouTube video, dyeing my hair, and literally just bullshitting with all of you because I haven't been on here in months. But I'm going to tell you the reason why I haven't, been po I haven't been posting. And I haven't been posting Savior, Lightning, I haven't done anything except the podcast. Because I don't feel like what I have to say is as important as what's going on right now that needs to be said. So, again, I try to stay out of it because I don't... I'm the type of person that will fight back. Like, I will cause drama on YouTube. I will fucking go off. Also, mm, Gabby Hannah, that poor girl. Okay. The person to go off, so I tend to just not bring up subjects that are that touchy. I Again, I make it light and fun. And, oh my god, that difference. Look at... Okay, so there's mine. And Shazam. Okay, but my roots look the fucking same. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Um, I just avoid topics that will cause issues. 
that's simply the tea. But yeah, that's why I haven't been on YouTube. I haven't made videos. I haven't written in Savior. I haven't written Lightning 2. Like, I took a break because I felt like other people <clears throat> had shit to say. Such as, it, people needed to not pay attention to me. And I know not many of you watch my videos. And again, that's fine. I do this for mainly me so I keep myself busy. So I don't go insane. I felt like there was more important things to be watched than me. And I still believe that's true. <sighs> Sorry, I'm trying not to get high off these fumes. <coughs> How about video games? Video games. Um, I beat Final Fantasy VII Remake. I didn't platinum it yet. I don't know what it is. Like, I have so many games to play. And I keep buying video games. What? Tell me why. I've been, like, non-stop playing Overwatch. So, in Overwatch, I bought my sister a PlayStation 4. Just because, honestly. Because I, she was going through something at home. And I've been there, done that. I don't really want to go back. And I don't really want to get into details. So, thank you. Thank you. Move on. Um... Oh my god, what is that? But she was just, oh god, going through some shit. And I wanted to be nice. So I, me and uh, my friend Megan literally scoured for hours trying to find this fucking PlayStation 4. We found one at 2nd and Charles out of all places. 2nd and Charles. So she's been playing Overwatch with us. And she's really, really good. Like, at the same, like... I, I have conflicting things, things about it because, like, I love my sister with everything. Like, she's, like, my, my best friend in the whole world. I feel like garbage compared to her because she's good at everything. Honestly, everything she does, she's good at. And she puts herself down like, I'm not good at it. Yes, she is. And I got her Overwatch because she always plays at my house. And I was like, okay, now you have your own to play. Please hold. I need a wipe. Okay, so, like, she... I liked music, right? Um, I wanted to play the saxophone. And I think part of it's, like, maybe jealousy because she's getting to do all the stuff I never got to do. So I wanted to play the saxophone when I was going into high school, but my parents couldn't afford it. But she can do it. She's playing the saxophone now, and... Um, she's good. She's very good. Um, she doesn't like it. She has that whole stage fright thing, like, how I have with singing. It, it just... It happens. She wanted to play Overwatch. I got her Overwatch. She is ranked higher than me, and I've been playing for a long motherfucking time. Is that a cut on my face? Whatever. I'm not even questioning the things on my body anymore. She's just good at everything she does, and I'm jealous. Like, I got, and she doesn't, like, help it, but I know, like, that's just her, and that's how she is, and she doesn't mean to do it or hurt my feelings. Like, I worked so fucking hard the last two, like, two weeks to get competitive points in Overwatch because I want, I wanted Widows, I wanted to get a golden gun because I'm like, I've been playing for a year and I don't have a golden gun yet. How the fuck do I not have a golden gun? And I finally got it yesterday. <clears throat> and I was popping the fuck off yesterday after I got it because I was like, oh, fuck yeah, I got my golden gun. Like, I'm the hot shit right now. And I kept getting play of the games and my sister was like, ew. I'm like, okay, like, I get you're being funny, but sis... Anyway, guys, so <clears throat> the hair dye is in. My head's very heavy. I have a timer going for 25 minutes. So I will come back to you after I wash my hair. Okay, so I skipped the whole taking you guys into the drying my hair process because uh, you wouldn't have been able to hear me. But here's the final result in three, two, shazam. Okay, so here's my thoughts. This is not the color I was going for. I don't know why it didn't take the way that it did before. I'm, okay, first of all, it looks patchy. Number one, because I need three bottles, I used two. And I it was going to answer that question of the, hey, Lightning, you only used two bottles. Correct, I only used two bottles. I only used two bottles of a time because other than that, that's a lot of fucking hair dye on your hair all at once. So the third bottle will go in tomorrow morning. And then you guys can look at my Instagram and be updated about what it'll look like. But yeah, this is... This is the hair. So I did use argan oil at the end of it, so when I was drying it, I always blow dry my hair, I never let it air dry, that's just me, you do you. I put argan oil in it, 
and brushed my hair and blow dried it. And that's why it looks like this. And I like it. I think when it's completely done, it'll look great. And I'm sorry, but I'm not recording that part because this is already gonna be a long enough video. But anyway, guys, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit a like button and subscribe to my channel and leave a comment about what hair color you think I look best in. If you wanna see me in hair colors, go to my social media because I have had every single fucking color. Other than that, make sure you pre-save my book, Lightning, and I'm going to talk about that right now. So it is not a pre-order, it is a pre-save. I am going through a self-publishing book company. So they have to get an order of 25 books. That's it. 25 books. And then once tw we hit 25, an email will go out to you asking for payment. If you do not give payment within three business days, it will your slot will be given to the next person on the list. Then, once the books are ordered, they will be sent directly to me. I will sign them, leave you guys each a personal note thanking you for buying my book, and then I will either deliver it to you or I will ship it to you. If you are out of the state, I will ship it. If you are not in the United States, I'm sorry, we don't have international shipping yet, but maybe we will soon. The book is $25, and I before you say, wow, that's expensive, it's a hardcover gloss finish that's self-published, and I'm signing every single copy that is made and I either deliver it to you or I'm mailing it to you for free. So there's your charge. I'm only making like six bucks per book. So honestly, I'm not turning that big of a profit on it. But yeah, if you want to pre-save that, the link will be right down below. Also subscribe to my channel if you haven't, because why not? I'm very tired. I'm gonna go the fuck to sleep. I will see you all soon. Make sure you read Lightning 2 and make sure you read Save Your Season 1. That will be coming soon. And also look for my brand new song, Shadow Dancing, coming very soon. I lay with you, I pray for you, I gave for you, I took from you, and everything I do is all.